else, how you feel about the W? Your striking looked right on point, and uh, didn't seem he had an answer for that. I, fe I felt great. Um, great camp. Um, I I, what's crazy is I, I started the camp with a few injuries, and I was a little worried, but everything worked good. Um, I added a new swimming program that helped, and everything. Me and my coach, my strike coach Jamal, we we had such a good game plan. We were the angles we were working, got back to boxing a lot, and just. Not stand in front of the guy and every literally everything uh, throwing the right hand off the check hooks, everything the jab, everything was just on. It felt on so good. For whatever reason, fighters never really utilize their boxers the way you have. GSP has other guys have done it. How did you stay so consistent with that jab? Most guys just throw winging power punches, but you seem to utilize it perfect. Well. Like I said, my coach Jamal, you know, um, that was the game plan. The big time game plan was that was the stick move. We weren't gonna stay in front of him. The only chance he had was to really just try to try to get me down and hold me because it, his ground game wasn't better than mine. He was just he was he had a good strong body lock and control position, and I just felt like everything came, came together was perfect. Um, I didn't I didn't listen as as good as I should have in the corner as far as stepping off and landing the power right hand, which is what we worked the majority of camp. So I'm disappointed myself and sorry to my coaches about that. But everything else, just it seemed good. I uh, got a little tired, you know, ring rust. Uh, this inactivity, fighting once a year stuff has been killing me. If I could just stay consistent and fight every few months, I, I don't think I would ever get tired because I'm, I'm known to be a cardio machine. And I know it probably didn't look like I was that tired in there because I kept throwing I'm a volume puncher. But I, I need to work on probably setting down a little more and, you know, turning my body over a little better and stuff like that. But it, besides that, I felt like every, everything came together. What's been, the, what's been the issue with that inconsistency in terms of, how frequently you're fighting. Has it been more injuries or is it just not getting that call and will you be kind of proactive in getting Joe Silva and Sean Shelby's here and say, I'm ready to go. Let's get me back in a couple of months. No, Joe Silva's been great. He's he's messaged me multiple times and I've had to I've actually had to say, hey, I, I'm not healthy. I've, I've had uh, basically four surgeries in the last seven or eight years. So, I mean, obviously I've only been in the UFC four, but I've had two surgeries in the last four years since I've been in the UFC. And after my last fight with Jake Matthews, I went and I thought I had a pulled groin and I went and got an MRI and they said my hip was messed up and I had to get had to have labrum surgery on my hip and I had an impingement in there and had to get all that fixed. So it was just just injuries over and over and then I pull I pulled my groin, I, I messed up uh, my pull my hamstring, just small things and then they just kept adding up bad timing, just different things is all it was injuries. Feeling good now coming out of that that you can you know, have that yes, I, I definitely want say. at least two more fights this year. Be seven and zero in the UFC and, and get get to the top ten. That's that's my goal, 100. percent I'm hearing that you're uh, looking for Michael Chiesa. How much would it mean to you to avenge that loss from the Ultimate Fighter? I, I, I would want that. I want that fight more than anything. Like I, I would I would rather fight him than, than anybody in the division by far. Um, that's been four years ago. We're not the same fighter. Neither one of us are the same fighter. Obviously, he very impressive. You know, Michael Chiesa. Me and him are actually really cool. Um, but I want a rematch. I mean, that's just the way it is. It's 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 not like the fights happened last year or something it's been four years and he's been acting like this whole time that his career is way ahead of mine and I need to catch up and I agree with that he's been he's been fighting more than me but um he had a great press of win so I'm probably not going to get the fight you know now just because he just he just beat a number seven ranked guy or eight ranked guy but I'm coming for him and, and he better be ready because because I'm, I'm going to get that rematch and I'm going to win and I'm going to be a world champion I really believe that with all my heart who do you want next? I mean, obviously, if you can't get Kiesa, there's a lot of guys probably on your hit list at this point. I mean, I, really, I've mostly thought about him, to be honest, because I didn't really think he was going to win this last fight. So I thought I can really catch him off a loss, and then he'll have to fight me after five wins. But that didn't work out. So I, I don't care. I mean, I, I want to step up. I want, I want to be in the top 15. I want to be in the top 10 in the world. In my mind, I've only had, if you think about it, I've only had that was my fifth fight in four years. If you doubled that and I, was, and I stayed undefeated, I'd 10 and 0, I'd be a world champion already. I just, I just haven't been healthy. So I, yeah, I want to, I want to step up. I don't really care who I fight next coming up in the division. I just, I just want to move up and I want to, I want to work my way up the ladder. I'm 29 years old. I, my skill set is, is at an all time high. I'm so well rounded right now. I, I want to be a world champion. At what point do the injuries and the layoffs start messing with your mind? Because it's amazing. You were on that show four years ago. You're still undefeated. You don't even have 10 pro fights on your record. You've been so inactive. Yet you continue to look good when you do fight. Do you start to worry and wonder, like, am I injury prone? Is it going to be like this for my entire career? Have you ever had those doubts? Um, I, I have off and on, but I'm I'm really strong in my mind. I probably mentally, I believe I'm mentally stronger than anybody in the UFC. And I read a lot of books. I study a lot of stuff. Um, my coach, Master Lloyd Irvin, he's really big into the self-help, personal development stuff. And when I first started training with him years ago, I got into it. And I've probably read in the last th four years, I've probably read 25 books. 
um, stuff. And I, that sounds a little cheesy to some people, but it really, you know, it really helps make your mind strong. And I, I just, I believe that no matter what happens, that certain things may delay my destiny, but nothing can stop my destiny. I really believe that it, it, if it wasn't my destiny to be a world champion, God wouldn't have put it in my, my heart so strongly. So I, I believe that no, whether sooner or later is coming. I saw you yesterday, you were very confident that you were going to win, uh, but I believe you called for a finish. Yeah. Are you disappointed? Very disappointed. I couldn't, first of all, I'm, 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 I was talking to my coaches about it and they know that I'm my biggest critic and I'm never happy about anything. I'm so mad that that's the third time, third fight in the last three, third time in the last four fights that I've landed that flying knee and haven't put them out. Like one of these days it's going to be flush. If I, if I land that another inch on every guy, I got three bonuses in a row. And I'm just, I, I was disappointed about that, you know, because when you, when you don't fight but four to five times in four years, you're a little hurting for money too. Yeah. So you try, yeah, I was very disappointed. I really thought I was going to be able to finish them. Um, it just uh, had a bad start, you know, in the first round. And then, you know, gas tank was a little slow because the ring rust. And I, and I do throw a lot of volume. I have a style that, you know, that gets people tired as well. But um, I, I definitely thought I should have finished them. And we'll go back and I, I'll check the film out and study it. And me and my coaches will come together and we're, we're going to get more finishes. How do you support yourself when you don't fight so often? Well, um, when I do my training camp, I live in Texas half the year, and I live in, in Maryland, Washington, uh, uh, Temple Hills, Maryland, uh, at Team Lord Irvin half the year. My coach, you know, he's a lifesaver, Master Lord Irvin. He's he's literally changed my life. I get to I get to train up there for free, and, and he has a fighter house. I get to stay in, and I'll go up there two months in advance, and that really helps me a lot. And then back home, I teach some private lessons now. And I used to I was a bouncer off and on, working at clubs and stuff like that. To, to, to make ends meet and um, last fight I got I got the bonus against Jake Matthews so that helped me a lot even though Australia you know kill me on the taxes mm -hmm. that, that helped me a lot enough to, to where I was very smart with my money and I just made it last you know now until now and then, then now I should be good to go and hopefully get the fight in a few months and uh, if you don't mind me asking uh, how is your sister doing she, oh, oh thank you yeah she's doing great um, uh, my sister if for those who didn't know she had a, a tumor really bad in her, her brain and they had uh, right there in the front of her skull and they had to take it out. They said it was about to make her blind and it could eventually go through and you know, eat to her brain. And um, they took it out and they put like a titanium mesh plate in there. And it's, uh, they went in like, they basically kind of had a scalper a little bit and then they sewed it back up and everything. And that's been, that was last, what, July or August, I believe. And um, she went back a couple weeks after that and then she had to check up every two months after that and now she's good to go and there's no signs it's been almost a year about 10 months wow. i think great so she's 100 percent healthy yes sir oh, yes wow. sir she's actually here right now oh wow uh -huh. that's great well congratulations Thank you.